Hey guys, what's happening? So, if you've been watching my channel, then you know that I'm actually currently in the process of building a laser cutter. I'm actually going to be redesigning that too. But uh, one of the things you have to do is you need to select a board. And at first I couldn't figure out if I wanted to use a Marlin or Gerbil. Uh, I'm familiar with Marlin. I've been messing with Marlin for a couple of years. So I do a lot, most of the ins and outs of Marlin. But, um, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a software called Gerbil or Gerbil. And it definitely, it, it supports laser cutters and CNC a lot better than Marlin does. It was designed from the ground up to support laser cutters and CNC, whereas Marlin was designed on 3D printers. Um, Marlin actually does have better board support, but uh, Gerbil, if you're going to do a laser cutter, is probably a better, better option. But uh, let me show you what I have in front of you here. I have um, some old printer boards I wanted to reuse. Uh, and you can actually buy a dedicated Gerbil board for pretty cheap, like under 20 bucks, 25 bucks. But I wanted to use some of my old stuff that I have here. And let me show you what I have. So this is my original ANET board that came with that ANET printer, the Craigslist ANET printer. So I can't, I could possibly use that. Um, um, they do actually have some basic support, a, a port for that board. Um, and this is my original printer board with the integrated drivers. But I probably won't be using that because it's hard to flash. Uh, this is an SKR 1.1 board. And uh, this is 32-bit. They do actually have an LPC port for this thing, but um, it's not 100%. It's more based on the smoothie board. But let me show you what I got actually working on. This is an MKS Gen L version 1 board. And it's, it's, it's very similar. It's almost nearly identical to a uh, Arduino Mega. I think it's 2560 with the RAMS 1.4 board. So internally, the way it's wired... I mean, obviously it looks different, but the way it's wired internally from the, the chip is exactly the same as a 1.4. And uh, in an upcoming video, or you know, part of this video, I'm going to show you the uh, how similar they are: the RAMS 1.4 and the uh, MKS uh, Gen General version one. So, um, so right now I'm currently running uh, Triangle drivers, 2208 TMC drivers. And I currently have it working with uh, Dribble 1.1. So I'm going to put in my power supply here. And I'll make another video about this right here, the display. The TFT32 with the specific uh, firmware, the uh, Dribble firmware. This is actually designed for laser cutters. Alright, so let's do a quick move here and you'll see that I have it working. You can see the stepper move of the cutter going. Ten. So that's actually dribble firmware running on this MKS board. So, all right. So let me come back and uh, actually before I go to that, I want to describe to you because I'm going to be talking about pins a lot in the the later part of the video. And so a pin. This is actually a pair of uh, when I reference pin. Like pin outs, when I say like the, the RAMS 1.4 and the Gen L are the same, what I mean is the pins are the same. So off this processor, there's a pin. And this pin corresponds with either like an end stop or a driver. So when I say they're exactly the same, I need the pin out and the trace is identical to RAMS 1.4. So when you're actually in the software and you program these pins, you know, you're actually defining pins in the software. And that's what you're doing. You're defining a pin to a driver, to an end stop, to the fan control. So that's what I'm talking about when I, when I mention pins. All right, so we'll get this going. I'm going to go back and I'll show you the similarity in Marlin first. And that's actually how I was, how I was able to determine, determine this would be a, a good match for, for Gerbil. All right, so we're in Marlin 2.0. And let me show you real quick. So hopefully this will make more sense now. And uh, sorry for the fan noise. Uh, I'm actually doing some pretty long prints, and I didn't really want to stop those prints. Um, okay, so we're in Marlin 2.0, and under the file structure, there's a thing called pins right here. And this is actually where you define the uh, processor pins. So this is actually how I determined that the MKS Gen L board would be actually suitable for Gerbil. All right, where are we at? So actually, I already have the files up right here. So this is... Uh, this is the, the pinout for the MKS Gen L. 
And the, the version two actually has it should work too. It has the diag pins, the uh, for the centerless homing, but you don't need to use those. It's not going to know what those are in uh, Gerbil, so it should actually work. And I'll show you how to determine that. So this is the MKS Gen L board, and a lot of these actually boards actually a lot of 3D printer boards are based on the ramps 1.4, so a lot of these printer boards will probably work with Gerbil. Gerbil, Gerbil, I'm not sure how you what they say, but. Okay, so this is some basically, this is some extra stuff that they added to it. But what you're looking at right here is where it says include. See, it says includes pins.rams. Well, that tells me that basically the majority of the processor pins coming off it are ramps 1.4. So let's take a look at that real fast. So this is the actual pins.rams that's based on the original 1.4 board. So you have ramps 1.3, 1.4. And oops, this is not a 32-bit processor, but yeah, this is it right here. So these, so when I showed you on that processor, the pin, this is what they're talking about. So off a pin off that processor goes to like either an end stop or a fan or driver. And this is basically what tells the software how to control the board or what's actually on the board. So it's, it's kind of like a, like a driver for Windows. So that's, it tells Windows how to control a specific device. All right, so that's it. So uh, that's how I was able to figure out that this board would be compatible with ramps. It was actually easier for me. I could have just looked at schematics and figured it out that way and try to match them up, but it was easier just to look in Marlin. It was already mapped out already. So right, I'm going to go back to Gerbil and we'll get started. All right, so we're actually at the Gerbil page for the uh, Mega 2560. Now, you need to actually find a Gerbil port that's compatible with your processor. Like, there's different ports for different processors. So what I'm looking for is one that actually has the Mega 2560 right there. So you're going to download this, and I'll show you. You just got to make a couple changes to the config file, and then compile it, and that's it. So, Okay, now that you actually have Gribble unpacked, double-click on the, uh, in that folder, you'll see this Gribble Mega Edge folder. Double-click on that, you want to go to Gribble. And what you're looking for is this config.h file right there. I'm going to edit that with Notepad++, bring that over so you can see it. Now, to have this, have Gerbil make this thing actually work with RAMS 1.4, you have to take out these options right here, comma those out with the backslash, backslash. And then you need to take out these right here, define these right here. So, boards, RAMS. Save it. All right, then you're ready to go. All right, so now that I have the config.h modified, we need to set up our Arduino. So you need to first download the uh, Arduino IDE. And then you also need to copy this folder over, which makes it easier what I found out. So you, can, you just copy this folder over, copy the GRB folder, and then copy it to your documents. I'll show you that real fast. So in my computer, it's under my documents, and it's under... Arduino, and you want to go into uh, Libraries, and just copy that folder into into Libraries, and that's it. All right, let's uh, fire up Arduino here and do a quick search for Arduino. And I'm running 1.8.7. And from here, it's pretty basic. So we since we've already modified the configuration files, we just got to make sure in Tools the right processor is uh, detected here, and also the right COM port. But then go down to Files, Examples, and this is going to pull from that Libraries folder that we just actually uploaded. Gerbil Upload. There we go. And then all we have to do now is hit the arrow button, and this is going to compile the software and upload it to the uh, Flash on the board. All right, so that's the end of this video, but I thought I'd show you if that kind of looked confusing at first. Um, so in that Gerbil folder that we copied over, there's another folder called Examples. And this is a configuration file that we actually just uploaded. And you'll know it's called Gerbil Upload.ino. And INO is a file associated with Arduino. So when I went over to here, it pulled from that folder from examples, Gerbil, Gerbil Upload. So cool. Hopefully this video helps somebody. Um, yeah, Gerbil looks pretty cool. Awesome.